embellish that. I was going to make that point, actually, w whether you agree with them or not, and I don't. If you start talking about people like the EDL in, in terms of terrorism, I think you, you know, you're onto a real problem, actually. You know, the fact is, is that we, I don't know whether you agree with this commission, but I mean, we might not agree with groups or whatever, but you've got to be careful when you start saying people are terrorists. Can I just ask one question, actually? Go on, go on. You're talking about right-wing groups. I totally understand that. You seem very clear on that, <laughs> Commissioner. Why then, as you just said, do you have to say extreme right-wing, you have no problem saying that, but then you, you go on to say so-called Islamist-inspired. Why are you so mealy-mouthed? You just said that, so-called Islamist-inspired. The guy who, for example, last year ran into Westminster and killed, what, five people with his car, was very clear. He was waging jihad. Right. Most of these people have been very, very clear. Why do you have to say so-called Islamist? So first point, I think it's very important not to call people terrorists who don't show the signs of terrorism. And I absolutely, you know, as the Commissioner of the Met, will defend till my dying day, literally, the, um, the, 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 the best aspects of our country in terms of people being able to express their opinions within <coughs> the law. Um, I say the phrase so-called Islamist uh, sometimes, not always. I'm sorry if it offends you. I say it because I think, me, I think, as a senior yeah. police officer, it is important for me, obviously, not to be mealy mouthed, but equally not to um, randomly upset people who might get upset. So I try to pick my words. Now, I've obviously upset you in the way I've described it. No, we're talking about counter terrorism. Of, yes, we, so are some, you actually saying, Commissioner? Can we not speak across each other? Sorry, the, the majority of people carrying out terrorist attacks, right? 90% are Islam inspired. We might not like it, you might not like to say that, but it is the case. Why do you say things like so-called Islamist? You're the commissioner. Because, I, I, Chair, I really don't think we should get into a long conversation about this, not least because you I, want to push no, on. No, I, but because I th <laughs> in the name of Islam is very different from Islamist, for a start. We could get into a really long semantic conversation here, Peter. I, I, don't, I don't want I, I to I agree, be Commissioner. But, but why can't we take them at their word? Why so is it so difficult to take them at their word? So obviously there are terrorists who have said they are doing this to, f to uh, take forward what, m what they would describe and other people would describe as Islamist causes. There are other people who some people might call Islamist who actually haven't said that, don't appear to be doing exactly that. It's quite a complicated area. I, I, want, I, want, to you. No, but I want to make this point because this is dissembling. The fact is, the vast bulk of terrorist attacks, whether it is 7-7, whether it's Westminster, whether it was in Manchester, whether it was in Borough, are Islam-inspired, Commissioner. And I mean, the fact is, you have got to face up to this. Yeah. You're quite clear about what it is with right-wing extremism. I wish you would be as explicit about this. That's, that's I don't think you need to 